Hey, how are you doing, big? Welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As we are once more picking up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. We're 0 and 1 after opening day, the 7-5 loss to the New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium. So of course, Drew Hutchinson started for us, which means we have R. A. Dickey going to the mound next. But our next game is actually going to be against the Cleveland Indians on the 1st of April, or pardon me, May. So why not sim through the date? And looks like Marcus Stroman down in double A or triple A has been injured. We're going to keep him active. And the Fisher Cats don't have correct lineups. I'm going to go down. Why don't they have correct lineups? Oh, because we need to call up a class A player. Okay. Uh, we'll call this guy up. Move to double A. Yeah, there we go. Golden. Calendar. We are now 1-1 one one after that win against the Yankees, so let's hope for something else. Uh, Auto-fix lineups. Marco Estrada is now okay to go. So we are going to place on bench. And we are going to manage rosters as we have 26 guys on the roster. Which means Todd Redman is good to go. Looks like Steve Delavar is going to be the guy to go down, AAA, and that means AAA has a roster too big, so AAA, we can throw down Machado down to AA, and then we can take away that guy that, oh, Josh Woodward, how about we move you to Class A, there we go, okay, roster's managed, and we are 2-1, and one. let's sim through the date, Auto fix lineups, auto utilize, and the Rangers are interested in offering a trade. Okay, let's see the trade. Jose Bautista for Elvis Andrews. Yeah, no, definitely not. That's uh, that's a pretty stupid trade for the Blue Jays. Let's not even consider that. And through. And we are six and seven, six and eight, seven and nine. Kevin Pilar will keep active. Matt Hogg keep active. How to utilize? And there we go. We're on a winning streak here. As we are now fourteen and ten, thanks to that winning streak of what five, six, seven straight games. So here we go. April second against the blue or against the Indians we have Daniel Norris on the mound we are going to view organization teams play the game and if you remember we go pitcher and Michael Saunders is our man so we will go Jose Reyes looks a little tired oh yeah he could use a break why not give him a break we'll give Steve Tullis in the day there and it looks like Deonor Navarro to go play in place of Russell Martin. And everyone else looks pretty well good to go. Dalton Pompey could use the day off. We'll put him, we'll put Pilar in center field. Of course, we're playing the Indians. They're not overly powered, so why not press go? And you know what? Martin's good to go. Skip. And we are good to go for this player lock. Did I player lock? I think I did. Anyway, we'll figure it out soon. So guys, if you're new to the channel, of course this is episode 2, go catch up on episode 1, and as I said, if you're new, hit that subscribe button to catch more future episodes coming out mm, semi-daily, I don't know, whenever I can get them out at this point. I'm in college, college life's tough, especially when you're in broadcasting, not very easy to go, so we'll figure it out, and here we go, we will get into this game, everyone's ready to go, and let's see... Michael Saunders down 2 nothing. Looks to pull something out here. He's going to get it. He's going to ground that one on a quick pitch. And he's going to dive into first base, and that won't solve anything. Unfortunately, he can't get going. Here we go. We'll simulate up to the next. At bat, and it looks like the Blue Jays are now down 3-0 with runners on 
second and first, and Saunders steps to the dish. This is a gotta be take one situation here. There's a high fastball that he takes for strike number one. That was a good take by Saunders. And the pitch in. He's going to fall that one off. It kind of bit inside on him. That was a hard slider. Now in an 0-2 count, he's looking for something here. He's going to weakly tap this one up the line. Is he going to make it in time? No, he's going to be out. But he advanced to the runners, so Saunders at least gets something productive going there. And then it's a fly out, so that sucks. And Saunders will bat in the top half of the seventh. Here's to hoping for something good. He's going to take this one if it's too far inside. And that's inside. There we go. That's perfectly what he was looking for. And it looks like Norris is going to maybe lose this one unless the Blue Jays can pull something out. He pops this one way up, way up, way up, way up, way up, and that's going to be caught. And that will pretty much do it for Saunders' day unless the Blue Jays can generate some offense. And he's going to get a bat in the top half of the ninth. He's got one out, and he's got to get this pitcher out of the game. This is going to be an easy take, maybe? No, he's going to lace this one. This one's right up the gut. That was a quick, easy pitch hit and single to start off this game. So we're going to fast forward to the next appearance. And Devin Travis struck out. We're going to fast forward once again. And that will end the game as the Blue Jays lose 4 to nothing. So that kind of sucks. I was looking for a little bit better of a result. Carlos Carrasco gets the shutout with only five hits, three walks allowed, and six strikeouts on 135 pitches. Wow, okay. Carrasco's is doing incredible to start the year. We will take a look at a roster, and it looks like, yeah, okay. Stan Mora is doing good. Ramon Santiago, sure. Max Pentecost, yeah, okay. Wilton Lopez struggling. Alberto Torado is struggling down. All right, and we'll take a look up and down the lineups. Jose Reyes only has a 267 average. Russell Martin 260. Jose Bautista 253. Edwin Encarnacion is really struggling this year at 210. Donaldson has 244. Yonan Navarro 242. Pompey 228. Saunders has been on fire 289. And then Devin Travis just tearing it up. 13 RBI and a 346 average. Clark with 183, Tolleson 148, Justin Smoke's been awesome, and Danny Valencia has been decent. So what I'm thinking is we need to move Edwin Encarnacion in Jose Bautista's spot. You know what? Actually, we're going to move Russell Martin down and bring Mark, bring up Saunders. And Martin will bat 6th, Navarro 7th, Pompey 8th, and Travis 9th. I like that. That works. And of course, we'll make these changes here. Yeah, okay. That works for me. And Saunders against a left-handed pitcher. Yeah, that works. There we go. Martin against the left-hander. Yeah, perfect. There we go, guys. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Blue Jays Franchise Mode. As always, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So long from Yak City.